The most prolific gopher passer is now graduating the NFL as a free agent. Adam Weber talks his football future. Few have dominated college wrestling like Marcus Levesser. He's now an MMA pro. Marcus is one-on-one. -on -one. We're two weeks from Rod's charity. I get a little help from Golf for the Gift's top model. And is Tiger Woods done? It's all ahead. It's game on. And it's great to be with you again. Welcome. This is Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. I'm Rod Simons. Delightful that you are with us on this Sunday. Big show planned for you. We were initially we we're going to be outside. We'll get to that a little later in the summer, inside with the darts behind us, the festive atmosphere and all. We'll share that with you today. Let's set it. Game on by the numbers for you right now here on this Sunday. The Twins continue their longest homestand at Target Field against Texas. It's day 93 of the National Football League lockout. Stanley Cup Finals continue as the Wild prepare and get ready for the NHL Draft. And time for kids to enjoy summer sports. Couldn't be more delighted to start game on than with number eight. The Gopher quarterback, Adam Weber, is in the house. Great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Now, I look at you. It's a summer day outside. You got the wind blowing. You got the blonde, pretty boy image going. <laughs> what have you been doing with yourself? Uh, you know, just trying to stay busy. Yeah. Uh, ideally, uh, on a normal year, I'd be in a city right now. I'd be on a team. Yep. Uh, I'd be training with uh, teammates. Right. Uh, but because of this lockout, um, I can't be able to. I can't talk to teams. Uh, I haven't been able to sign a free agency contract. Yeah, you would have been signed and locked up regardless of the draft. By now, you would have been in those down. In a typical year, usually uh, right after the draft is right. done, That's right. you're on the phone, yep. and within five minutes, you're probably signing the contract. That's right. Has it has the transition because of the lockout been strange? Because I know you finished up school and you've kind of been working out and doing all these. Has it just been odd? Um, well, I guess that's all I know. Yeah. You know I guess talking to, uh, to other coaches and to other guys who have been through it, this is an odd year. Yeah. Um, but you only go through this once in your life. And yeah. so uh, this is all I know. And, and I'm just trying to uh, not really uh, look too hard into things. Just yeah. take it for what it's worth. Uh, stay motivated. Stay, keep, you know, always keep on the... Um, the goal in mind, right, and that's right. to be on a team. And so uh, I wake up every single day just trying to stay motivated and, and uh, know that uh, I'm still working towards my goal. Well, and you have an agent and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. The interesting thing is I look at some of the numbers, and your ratings couldn't be any higher. I mean, you are primed to be picked up by a team because they say your arm strength is great, your sense of uh, your athleticism is great, and your ability to run a pro-style offense. I mean, you impressed a lot of people on pro day. Yeah, you know, I, I guess, uh, you know, the college career, there's a lot of ups and downs. Right. The, the wins weren't where they needed to be. Um, but I feel that uh, my skills are, are on par with, with any NFL quarterback. And, you know, you have to have that, uh, I guess, confidence in yourself. Um, going, going through training before pray to, uh, pro day and, and, and everything that goes along with this process, it's too hard if you don't uh, have right. a lot of confidence in yourself. Right. And I wouldn't be doing I wouldn't be doing everything that I'm doing if I didn't believe that I could be a starting quarterback. Awesome. We're very excited to have Adam Weber in the house. More. We're going to talk a little bit about the Gopher days and what he's looking forward to in the National Football League. Don't forget you can get all our updates at GameOnTVMN.com. We have it all for you right there. Brandon on baseball, the kid on campus, the boss on MMA, and all over the Vikings with Shockers Locker. We also link you up to our partners at PurplePride.org. Check us out. It's GameOnTVMN. Com. Up now, time to hear from the voice of the fan, brought to us by Fan HQ. Is Tiger Woods done? There's no way he's done. He's got way too many years left, and he's been too good for too long. He's fixing a swing again, and when he's healthy, he'll be back. What are you doing? You can write on these new Bud Light labels. So I'm sending out 12 ounce invitations. Here we go. Yes. Oh, hold on. How many people do we invite? About eight cases worth. For a limited time only, the new My Bud Light bottle with a special label that lets you use a key or coin to write your name, number, whatever. Here we go. Matt, come on. Seriously? Here's Beasley, isolated right side. He puts it on the floor to the free throw line. Drops it for Love. Three ball on the way. Got it to go! Kevin Love with a 30-30. Wes Johnson rises up and comes down hard. 
Judge Ridnour throws it up for Darko and he lifts it in. Tolliver knocks it away. More reasons to get your 2011-2012 season tickets at Timberwolves.com. The Minnesota Timberwolves. United we run. The sun has always powered life. And now it powers our latest innovation to heat and cool your home more efficiently. Introducing the world's only solar-powered home energy system, which saves you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. Go green with Liberty Comfort Systems and your neighbors will be green with envy. Get the latest in green technology and save some green. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance or right off the street. Mind blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. Our friends and neighbors need our help. Please take a moment to donate to help the victims of last Sunday's tornado. Go to thesalarmy.org. Call 800-725-2769 at Sal Army. With either money, food, non-perishable food, hygiene products, clothes, or furniture, you can also text BLESSING to 85944. Together, we'll all stand taller and help each other out. And again, thank you for helping. Welcome back. It's game on. Glad you're with us on this Sunday. Rod Simons, Adam Weber, former Gopher quarterback and soon to be National Football League quarterback. You know, with Tim Brewster leaving last season, had he not stuck with you, there's a very good chance your numbers wouldn't have been as prolific as they are. Do you feel kind of a soft spot for uh, for Coach Brew? Of course. Yeah. Um, at, at that high of level of football, college football, there has to be a special relationship between the head coach yeah. and the quarterback. Um, you know, not only do you take a lot of the responsibility, but when you do win games, you probably get too much of the credit. And right. so uh, I think the head coach and the quarterback uh, have a special bond because, you know, when, when faced with the media, I think we face the same criti criticism, but also the same um, uh, compliments and, and um, things of that nature. So yeah. there's a special bond between a head coach and a quarterback. Have you had time to look back over your Gopher years? Because, I mean, in terms of numbers, they were like a lottery. You, were, you had great numbers and a, and a good run. Yeah, um, I guess you know, I'm still I'm still bitter about um, some of the seasons when you know we didn't have as enough success. Yeah, um, I, I've always felt you know the numbers kind of take care of themselves. I had a coach, Coach Dunbar, my yeah. freshman and sophomore yeah. year, and he always said you know the numbers will take care of themselves. Right. You know you don't have to worry about that. You know you got to worry about uh, you know other things that are important. You know obviously winning. Uh, being a leader for the team, being a great um, um, connection between the media and the team and things like that. So uh, those are always things that I try to control. Yeah. Um, obviously, I'm very proud of the numbers that I was able to put up in college, but um, you know those, those, are only pretty, those are only nice to look at on paper. Well, I'll tell you, though, the adversity that you went through in college will carry over because you were faced with it seemingly week in and week out, and you rose above it. I was I was very impressed. Oh, thank you. And so now that you look at all that, you're ready for the, you, I bet you're chomping at the bit. You can't wait to go. Oh, yeah. Um, when I was talking with scouts, when um, this whole process yeah. of the pro day and everything like that before the draft, um, I really feel that um, I'm as prepared uh, as any other quarterback in this draft yeah. when it comes to uh, experience and uh, things that you have to face on a given day or a given week. Uh, mm -hmm. So in that sense, I feel like I can add uh, quite a bit to a team yeah. and I'm, I'm really looking forward to the chance of uh, landing somewhere and getting to know the the squad and and also you know not being a, a hindrance in that locker room but also but trying to help that locker room go get, go together I'm hoping you wear purple this year it'd be great to have you here Adam Weber number eight in the house great to have you here thanks for having me. thank you very very much don't forget there's no better place to golf in the summer and we'd love for you to join us for golf with a purpose it's golf for the gift my charity golf event to raise money to help create forever families through the gift of adoption grants. It's June 23rd, Troy Byrne Golf Club. It's fun, relaxing, challenging too, and a great cause. So check us out. It's Golf for the Gift, June 23rd. We'd love to have you with us.
Don't forget, you can keep up with the Wolves and the NBA on our weekly blog. It's called Simon Says at Timberwolves.com. Part of a great NBA website full of inside information, Wolves viewpoints, all at your fingertips. It's interactive, so drop me a line whether you like it or you don't. Just let me know. Rod at GameOnTVMN.com and look for the weekly blog Thursday morning at Timberwolves.com. Time now for our Voice of the Fan brought to us by Fan HQ. Hey, your thoughts. Is Tiger Woods done? I think he... Uh been chasing women too much and you know how do you get game back after that being creative is who we are at wallingberg and deeply families are our passion we help create new families. This combination of experience, passion, and creativity allows us to fully represent individuals in family court crises. Walling, Berg, and Deeply believes in families. We will listen, counsel, and advocate for you. Walling, Berg, and Deeply, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. River City Saloon is the place for food, music, fun, and bikers. Bikers get the best parking spot, and inside, from business people to bikers, everyone's going to have a great time. Create your own bucket list at the River City Saloon. There are specials every night of the week and live music all weekend. Get us online at hollysrivercitysaloon.com. And look for the awning just off Maine and Anoka, right in the heart of the historic Anoka Entertainment District. See you soon at the River City Saloon. How to order a pizza. Step one, decide on toppings. And Pizza Man says, remember, cheese is included and only extra cheese is considered a topping. Step two, pick up or delivery. And if you choose delivery, don't forget to tip the delivery person. Step three, call Pizza Man for the TV special. Step four, call Pizza Man in Minoka, home of the heavy toppings. And welcome back once again. This is Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. You recognize this face? Out of school for five years, that's right. Give it to him. Marcus Levesser's in the house. Great to have you here. Thanks a lot. I'm appreciate being here. There's some serious tats you got there. What's that? Uh, this is a lightning bolt. It actually it, uh, represents speed, lightning speed, and there's nothing faster than light speed, so I'm trying to achieve that. If you don't know who this guy is, you haven't been paying attention to college wrestling because they're arguably wasn't a more dominant wrestler in college. You didn't lose a match. That's correct. 153 and nothing? 155. 150, excuse me for those. 155 and 0, that's absolutely amazing. I love that number, 155. My fight weight class is 155. Yeah. I mean, I just love the 155. Yeah. Okay, with all that experience and all that success, you move on to MMA, you gotta know a whole bunch of different skills. How are you doing? I'm doing really well on it, actually. Um, as a wrestler, the number one focus is to learn how to punch and learn how to kick. Right, right. You know, but then, as being a wrestler, we always resort back to taking our guy down. The ground game, yeah. And so, once I do take my opponent down, I have to watch out for his jujitsu, or, or we call it jits. Yeah. And um, that's for who I don't know what that is. It's submission arm bars, triangle chokes, rear naked chokes. The nasty stuff. Leg hooks, knee bars, a lot of things that make your mom go, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. You know, but um, yeah. it's been fun just learning it. And as a wrestler, I kind of found it a little bit easier just because there is a lot of, um, a lot of chain movements and right. positions. And as a wrestler, we're looking to set our opponent up, take the attack, take them down. Yeah, you want them on the ground when you're a wrestler. Absolutely. And, and the jiu-jitsu kind of, it messed up Brock Lesnar pretty badly in, in the one, in the first title fits he had. Absolutely, I mean, he's a phenomenal wrestler. Yeah. He's, he, I mean, he's like Hercules, you know, but I mean, they always say a strong person won't win everything. That's right. And um, I'd rather be more of a smarter fighter than a stronger fighter. You know, I've talked to a lot of people and, and I've had the good fortune of seeing you at different events. The one thing people want to know is you're so talented, you're having so much success here. When you go into the national stage? Um, hopefully, as soon as possible, ASAP. Uh, my last two opponents, they've had a little bit of success in the yeah. UFC. Um, yeah. uh, the last guy, he was on the Ultimate Fighter Show 5 back in 08. Yeah. And then the previous opponent, 
he was on the Ultimate Fighter show on Spikes season 12. So would you want to do Ultimate Fighter before you did UFC? Um, I would, yes, but I mean, I'm trying to go right there right away. Let's, let's just do it now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think I'm ready and um, it's a challenge and it's the next step. And so as long as I keep on winning my fights against tough quality fighters, I'll be there in no time. Is determination the biggest thing you have to have? And obviously you gotta have skills. Well, well but, yeah. But you're determined like nobody. You have to have, you know, a lot of goals. Like obviously my number one goal is to be on the top of the food chain. Right. I wanna be the champion, but I need to take the baby steps in order for that to happen. I agree. Great to, great to have you here. Stay with us for just a minute. Yep. More in just a second. Time now for Who's Hot and Who's Cold. Brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems of Anoka, your personal temperature specialist. Who's hot? It's got to be Maya Moore. She's all that. Welcome to pro basketball. The Lynx number one draft pick has energized the hometown team. She's an amazingly skilled player. And Moore has shown fans that there's actually basketball played in the summer here. Welcome to Target Center number 23. You're hot. And who's cold? It's got to be Jim Tressel. The Ohio State football coach has resigned after that scandal involving players and cash and boosters and allegedly lying to investigators. A tremendous blow and once a very, very solid record, that legacy is now tarnished. Trestle is cold. That's who's hot and who's cold. Brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems of Anoka, your personal temperature specialist. Time now for our voice of the fan. Brought to us by Fan HQ. Is Tiger Woods done? He'll come back. He, 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 he's a fighter. He'll be back. In New Orleans, we know how to throw a party. In the UFC, we know how to kick back. Throw in over 3,000 Bud Light contest winners, and here we go. Bud Light's giving away thousands of trips to New Orleans for the Bud Light UFC Battle on the Bayou. Get in on the action at Facebook.com slash Bud Light or wherever Bud Light is sold. It's the sure sign of fight night. Here we go. What's your name? Wendy's new 99 cent everyday value menu now has even more tasty ways to get what you want for 99 cents. My nine for 99. My nine for 99. The all new bacon 99er with thick applewood smoked bacon. Or the new crispy chicken Caesar wrap with tender all white meat chicken. 99. My 99. My 99. My 99. You got your 99. Now there's nine tasty choices for 99 cents. Our friends and neighbors need our help. Please take a moment to donate to help the victims of last Sunday's tornado. Go to thesalarmy.org. Call 800-725-2769. That's Sal Army. With either money, food, non-perishable food, hygiene products, clothes, or furniture, you can also text BLESSING to 85944. Together, we'll all stand taller and help each other out. And again, thank you for helping. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Great to have you with us on this Sunday. Marcus Levesseur in the house. Now, that's exactly what I was just going to ask you about. You have moved from a ground game in college to what I am told, you're one of the best strikers around with the, with the, with the boxing and the, and the leg work. How did you get there? Well, you know, I'm like a dry sponge, and I soak up very, very, very fast. And uh, I know as a wrestler, it's, it's our goal to be better you know, in yeah. the boxing and in the kickboxing areas. And I just put a lot of time into it. I've been really focusing on kickboxing and Muay Thai for over the last two and a half years. And um, it's paying off at every fight by every fight. So you almost have to because the wrestlers are almost known for not, if they don't go on that side, overindulge on that other side, they're not going to win a lot of bouts. Well, some do. And then again, some don't. Yeah. I love it because they're, oh my God, he's a wrestler. But then I go on there and yeah. I knock him out. Yeah. And, I, and I don't do no takedown attempts. Yeah. And they're like, how do you game plan against that? Yeah. He's a good wrestler. He's awesome on his feet and stand up. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to be the total package and, yeah. and I'm not there yet, but just with the every day in and day out work, I will get there. What's your next bout? Um, on July 8th in St. Paul Armory. Okay, we'll be talking about it. We'll have you back right afterwards. Absolutely. Mark Sylvester, MMA, give it to him. Boom, boom, there you go, boom. right here on Game On.
Don't forget, you can join us for a live taping. Meet guys like Adam Weber and Marcus Lavesser right in person. Be a part of Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Autographs, specials, and food and drink, and more. It's only here at the Courtside Bar and Grill. And as you know, each and every week, we take time out to put the spotlight on high school athletes. We're delighted to have with us as school is coming to an end. Give it up for the Blaine Bengals in the house. Give it up, man. Now, Coach, you guys had a what you might call a mediocre regular yeah. season. You have a good run through the sections. The best part about it is you have you lose just a few seniors, and you've got a pack of young, talented athletes coming back. We do. I mean, every one of these guys will be competing for a spot next year. They're all playing summer baseball. Uh, it's exciting. I think uh, we got a good group of guys returning, and it should be uh, should be a good year for us. And uh, can't wait. They're delightful too. And when you talk about the cupboard isn't bare. You mean it because they've really learned through adversity this season. Right. I think at the beginning of the year, we started off slow because we hadn't had a lot of varsity experience. In that second half, we turned things around, and uh, we're gearing up for a great summer and a, a great spring next next year. And I talked to some of the guys. The, the key really is playing through the summer and not stopping. Yeah. Right. Get, getting better, improving, and, and uh, working on your game. And, uh, you know, these guys have played together since they were little, and uh, they have... Uh, you know, great team chemistry and, and it's awesome. So great group of great group of boys. Little is uh, like seventh grade, something like that, guys. Something like that. Is that when you guys start playing together? That really is. Is that right? That really is the key, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is. And uh, you know, learning each other and, and their games and uh, t and continuing to improve all the time and, and getting better at the game. They also told me one other thing. Anybody have an extra hat here? Can I borrow one? They've got a they've got an issue with the coach and they. So they want, they, they're they getting new hats next year, right? Because yeah. these are too flat? And with the coaching staff, they didn't like the flat. They didn't like the flat. Yeah, so we're going to have to bend them back again. Just, <laughs> I love that. So we have taken care of some controversy. Have a great summer. Give it up for the Blaine Bengals in the house. Thank You're you. our spot. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Time now for the Wheels of Thunder week ahead. The Twins homestand continues to roll on with the White Sox in town. Star Soccer against Edmonton on the 18th. MMA is back in St. Paul on July 8th. The Lynx host Atlanta, the machine football team against the rival Wisconsin club. That's women's football, tackle indeed, and Saints baseball against Lincoln. And don't forget, Courtside Bar and Grill sponsoring golf at Greenhaven on the 17th for DefendingTheBlueLine.com. We've had them on our recent shows. Check it out at CourtsideAnoka.com. Walling Burgundy believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling Burgundy is there. Walling, Berg, and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. Working together means working efficiently. And a Lennox home comfort system may just be the perfect example. Its air conditioner works together with the furnace. And that works together with the air purifier. And that works with you by saving you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. The future of home comfort is here now at Liberty Comfort Systems. Get the latest in innovation and technology at Liberty Comfort Systems. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance or right off the street. Mind-blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. The GM is in the house. Mr. Craig Carger, what's hot this week? Rod, you know we have uh, Sunday nights and Wednesday night bags tournaments. Tuesday nights we have the dart tournaments. You can come watch a taping of Game On right here. And my favorite day of the week, Sunday Fun Day. Kids eat free all day Sundays. And it's not a joke. Kids do come in, free lunch for the kids. Yes, it is. Great stuff. And the best burgers anywhere. Well, thank you. Thank you for having us here. Courtside Bar and Grill, host of Game On.
It is time for the Mayak Minute, and welcome from Carleton College, the National Coach of the Year. It's Luciano Battellini. Excellent. Thank you very much. When we talk about Coach of the Year, I'm sure that you like the honor, but you would like your team to win it all every single year at that point. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, since I got to Carleton in 2007, uh, we're trying to get better a little bit, you know, year by year. We don't really have a lot of uh, rigid outcome goals, you know, we're trying uh -huh. to focus on process and trying to develop uh, our student athletes. So it takes the pressure away, but uh, every year has been a, a consistent improvement since 07. And I asked you this earlier, and I'll ask, tell everybody here, I, I was curious how a true Italian gets to Carleton College. Well, you know, I, I fell in love with Minnesota. I was first hired by the University of Minnesota in 2003. That's it. And in 2007, I got this unbelievable opportunity to come to Carleton, which is such a great school, you know, uh, nationally known. And I, I wanted to, to be involved in academics and tennis as well. So that ended up being a, a good mix for and, me. And, and you really know the game. One of your uh, workout partners, one of the people that you work with, Stefan Edberg, the, the great season pro. Uh, well, Carlton College, you know, through their profession development, gave me this tremendous opportunity to go to Sweden last October, and uh, I work practice coach with Stefan oh and, uh, and his coach as well. So it was a, a dream come true. Uh, you're my childhood uh, hero. Yes. And suddenly I'm practicing with him. So it was a, it was a great opportunity. Did you learn a lot? A lot. Uh, most of, I think the biggest lesson is that as famous as they are, uh, as well accomplished, they're very humble. You know, they, they are not pretentious at all. They, uh, they don't think too much of themselves. Those are the biggest lessons, just to keep grounded, uh, even if they had a tremendous amount of success in their career. Coach Badalini, delighted to have you with us. Absolutely. Thank you for the honor. Congratulations on Thanks for Coach of the me. Year. I appreciate it. Luciano Badalini, the National Coach of the Year from Carleton College in our Mayak Minute. And there's no better time with the weather warming up than to get out and play golf. And we'd love for you to join us for Golf with a Purpose. It's Golf for the Gift, my charity golf event to raise money to help couples secure their forever family through gift of adoption grants. It's June 23rd at Troy Byrne Golf Club. It's fun, relaxing, it's challenging. It's just a great day for a great cause for family. Check us out. It's golfforthegift.com, June 23rd. Please join us if you can. And this is the reason we do it. This is our baby girl, Annie. You're, how old are you? I forget. Five. You're five. And you like to play golf, don't you? What's the best part of being at the golf tournament? Being with Daddy. Oh, I love that. And I didn't even have to pay her to say that. And when we get out there, we have a blast, don't we? And so do you have a, a message to, for anybody out there? Please come out and play. Mm -hmm. That's so sweet. We love you, little one. This is Annie. So if you can, golfwithgift.com. We'd love to have you. And that's it for us. We save the best for last. We answer our tweets and check out our website, gameontvmn.com, for all our updates. And so for all of us here, thank you for letting us be a part of your Sunday. Keep your game on and have a great week. Say bye. Bye.